you will find good life. Good day, my fellow Earthlings. And I'm excited because this is going to be the very first Comet Ison episode out of 40 that ends in a cliffhanger. If you happen to be brand spanking new to the Comet Ison story, let me catch up real quick. In 2011, Comet Ison was found. In 2012, Comet Ison was discovered. And then in 2013, which is still the same year as now, official science leaked out that Comet Ison could be the Comet of the Century and 10 to 15 times brighter than the full moon. And since then, it has been one crazy ride with one turn after the next. And this Joker is wild. And in the next step, of turn of events. So it's solar doom either for Comet Ison or it's solar doom for the scientific theory that teeny tiny comets exert no force upon the giant sun. Here's the update. In the last few days the sun has gone crazy. I mean real crazy. The sun has been freaking out for about five days. Filament's popping off. It's firing up three M-class flares which is the second under the biggest or most powerful that would be the X-Class Flare. And just a little while ago, the sun fired off its third X-Class Flare. The shot like an arrow. Right at Comet Ison. Yeah, you heard me. That's right. The sun just fired a kill shot right at Comet Ison. Will it break it to pieces? Will it destroy Comet Ison? And we will all go deja vu Elanin. 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 So it's total solar doom. Either for Comet Ison. It may bust into pieces just like Comet Elanin. Or it's solar doom for the scientific theory that the sun and comets don't have a direct relationship. Because here's the deal, man. If the sun is going to shoot a freaking arrow across the solar system and, and nail Ellen in and bust it to pieces, and then it's going to shoot flaming plasma arrow right at Comet Ison, nail it, and bust it to pieces, I ain't taking coincidence for an answer, man. Sorry that shit won't wash anymore. That shit stain's gonna stay in your pants and it ain't coming out. Whoa, where did this persona come from? I don't know if I like this guy. Woo-hoo-hoo! All right, so somebody's gonna fall. And all I know is I'm rooting for love. So come on, let's learn. And whether Comet Ison is or isn't anything special, I think the main thing right now is the sun. Hey, what is going on? Hey, sun, why are you so upset and energetic acting out? It's the filaments that trouble me the most. The sun has gone berserk. I just did a video on it yesterday called Is Solar Maximum Broken? Or did it just start? All right, so I am a little confused. Please feel free to correct me in the comment section or on my Facebook page or on the Twitter about this. But doesn't science pretty much give off the impression that comet and asteroid orbits are almost locked in stone and on titanium rails? So the idea that a coronal mass ejection cannot alter a comet's path seems to contradict with the idea that the sun can blow up a comet like a functional death star. Wouldn't you agree? Beady beady beep. And if it does blow ice into pieces, I'm gonna go back to the Nebraska Navy that the governments of the world have much better technology than they are leading on or telling us about. And they are using the sun like a laser cannon, shooting everything inside. That's pretty cool. I just wonder why they gotta be such jerks. Man, I wish some nice female would blow me to pieces. Wait, no. Reverse that. I'd like to stay in one piece. Will Ison stay intact? I don't know. But I do know that science's long-held theory that a small comet has a negligible effect on the sun is probably wrong. I mean, isn't it kind of like quantum relativity in string? I think there's some chapters missing out of that book, dude. And on that note, I've watched NASA's videos, and they say that like a neutron star is like the size of New York. And well, I imagine a neutron star could have some effect on the sun and a neutron star is tiny from what I understand. It's all relative. I used to fist fight a lot when I was young. People would start fights with me. I guess I'd say dumb stuff that made them mad. Anyway, and that the littler guys were always the toughest ass kickers you really had to worry about. The crazy one. Muscle heads usually just relied on their strength and their friends. So, uh, I miss good hand-to-hand -hand combat. Anyway, stuff to think about. This is definitely my most cliffhanger ing est video ever. Thor News History. That has me feeling good. And I love giving you guys beautiful, excellent shots of the sun. I sure feel like dancing. So what do you think? Will Ison live? Will Ison die? Will the sun keep freaking out? I just mentioned 
and passing. Man, I hope the sun doesn't turn into a neutron star. I want to thank you guys for watching. Can't believe I made it to episode 40. I guess now that means I got to